Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to test this i5-2400. It's a CPU that was released in 2011 with a price tag of $184. Today we're going to see how this CPU with 4 cores and 4 threads is performing, considering it's running on 3.1 gig on the base clock. Thinking that this CPU has got 95 watts, hopefully the CPU cooler will be enough because the, the original cooler was designed for i3-2100. So, Let's see how the CPU is working. We're going to use this GTX 1650 and we're going to see if which one is bottlenecking. I don't know, the CPU or the GPU. Hopefully in the future, we're going to change the GPU because, uh, you know, the, the CPU is getting better and better, you know. <laughs> then this video card can, doesn't have enough VRAM for today's games. So who knows? Let's see which one is bottlenecking, the CPU or the GPU. Let's start with Fortnite. I'm gonna put the C uh, I'm gonna put the CPU with uh, performance mode because this is the most important settings ever. I'm gonna keep everything on low details with 100% render scale. Hopefully, the game will do a fantastic job. This is gonna be interesting. This is gonna be a very interesting combination. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, lots of FPS. Okay, so it answered the question if if the CPU is enough for this video card. Yes. Apparently, yes, <laughs> there's no question about it, and uh, yeah, I'm never gonna ask, I'm gonna, never gonna talk about it because I never thought this CPU would be like so hard. This is a very good CPU, it's got decent performance, decent wattage, apparently. There's nothing to complain about this. Oh, yes, we're gonna, we're gonna keep using this computer to find the best CPU ever for this uh, platform. Let's jump into GTA 5. Let's see what settings the GTA uh, has managed to give us. You know, so it's, it's a DirectX 10. This is important. This is very important. That means it detects everything on normal. If the game is saying DirectX 10, it means business, you know? So let's jump in. Okay, this is going, this is going to be really cool, seriously. <laughs> E5645 that has six cores, but that one is on 2.4 gig per core, yeah? versus an i5-2400 that has four cores but is 3.1. Look how it's working. That one gave me barely 30 FPS and this one, what, 60? Oh my God. I can see how this becomes one of my efficient computers ever, seriously. I will never doubt this computer. Wow. I will doubt my driving skill, but I will never doubt this platform. This i oh, this this Acer will have a bright future in my benchmarks. Whoa, the wind drift is real. It's still much better than that uh, Xeon, that E series. Seriously. Feels more fluent. I'm guessing the frame time is better. I can see the spikiness in the CPU, but um, I come here to the wheel so I can see if it's uh, even harder. You can only spin the wheel once per day. Martin, cool. It's good. It's got a nice performance. GPU memory 85%. Oh my god, the VRAM is loaded. Holy f the VRAM is fully loaded. I'm surprised. What does it do in this game? 89, 90%. The VRAM is loaded. You're telling me the, the whole system is bottlenecked by this video card? 91%. I have to change the video card. Cyberpunk, yes. <laughs> Why not? You see which one is bottlenecking. Excuse me. I'm actually surprised how it was working in GTA 5. I'm not gonna lie. So, I don't know what's this. I think it's low detail with ultra performance. Uh, with uh, Fidelity FX ultra performance, low details. Maybe we can make it even lower. Off. I wanna keep this then. You know, I'm gonna start with this, and if there is any chance to crank it up or uh, increase the resolution or disable Fidelity FX, we're gonna see which one is good, you know? So let's see how it feels very sturdy. <gasps> 40 FPS, oh my god, the CPU is maxed out. 33 FPS, that's it, this is it. This is the best FPS I can get with the system. Actually 20, because it's dropping. Can I steal the truck? 
kids. I got a truck. Oh my god, this lagging so hard. Holy shit. But which one is ah the CPU? Okay, so this one is the CPU. The system RAM is what 9.2 gig. So there is enough system RAM that's actually good. You know, system RAM usage is it's 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 on the positive. The the VRAM like in GTA 5 it's uh, actually scaring me <laughs> seriously <laughs> because I made the, I made the bad choice by uh, selecting this 1650. I mean I didn't select it. I just left it in the PC. Keep swapping CPUs. You know, hoping that I will find that magic CPU that will bottleneck this 1650. You know, but it's getting there. With GTA 5 it was there 90. 95%? Oh my god. Okay, let's get out from the city where it's not very crowded. Maybe there it will uh, not lag. Plus I have a lorry. Never thought I would drive a lorry in uh, Cyber Park. But who knew? Can we take it outside? For a spin? Yep. Oh yeah. Freaking love it. So if I come outside from the city, I nearly reach 60 FPS. And I love it. In the city, 20 FPS, so it's not playable. Outside, I wanted to say outside the, the, the city is the place you need to play the game. <laughs> hey, you know what? Bring your missions here. I want to see what's up here. This water. Oh, damn. I'm actually surprised they have something like this in the game. You know, when they came with the car, they sit down, have a, have a drink, you know chilling here near the water this is the only thing that they have close to a sea <laughs> damn damn daniel we will play god of four with this i5 2400 1080p apparently i have what 640 by 360 so on ultra performance with fsr2 vram used is 2.5 out of 4 and ram is 16 gig page file 20 uh, two gig. Loose your arrow into the stone. You say arrow into the stone. Today we're gonna shoot the arrow. Every card is maxed out, but we still have 60 FPS. We can now make our way back. I never in my life I would have thought that a nine pound CPU will do this amount of performance. Yes, this is brilliant. This is brilliant. Look at it. Look at it. Yeah. Look at it. <laughs> Wow. Has to be a very precise shot. Oh yeah. is acquiring it despite having the cpu on 100 percent it runs really nice i wish i can benefit uh, from this performance by giving it some dlss you know i think it will help a little you know but fsr will do for the moment Nice. Well, something's wrong here. <laughs> something's really wrong. 15 FPS. I don't want that. I had so, so great FPS with this. What's wrong now? System RAM, GPU memory. What's wrong? Why are you doing this? Graphics, very low, very low, very low, very low. No particles. 20 FPS. Unlocked. Ultra performance. FSR fidelity you know what 900p hit me damn son look at that damn son 900p bananas I actually thought it would not work seriously oh yeah oh yeah boy I'm so happy for this CPU, seriously. It's 
skill point earn. <laughs> I bet you give me some skills for, for that flip. Yes, boy. Nice fly. It looks kind of doggo, you know, it looks really doggo. <laughs> but I, I put it like this on 900p, I lowered everything, you know, I put it on uh, FSR Ultra Performance. I think it's Fidelity FX, but whatever. Ultra Performance on uh, upscaling, you know, and I get uh, 60 FPS on 900p with this i5 2400, you understand, 2011. And the only thing I can do is applaud. It looks crap, but I don't care. It works. That's the only thing I want to hear. Never been in Far Cry for a very long time. Uh, I want to see how the, the system is working with this game. So first off, we, you know, we need to see how we are set up, you know. So uh, 720p, I think I need this. <laughs> Everything is on low, motion blur on, crazy. Render scale one. I think we, we will play this one and fidelity, yeah, FSR. FSR and render scale. This will be our thing gpu memory usage oh my god i'm gonna be bottlenecked by this video card this, this is the second game that i'm it, ma it makes me feel makes me feel i need to change the video card as soon as possible look at it 83 percent load on the video card insane 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 if i put a, a cpu with a better performance than this i5 2400 i really need to put a better video card so yeah in the future we want to take a look and see what we can do let's uh, uh see how we are doing with I put on 1080p i'm gonna go in uh, fidelity fx on ultra performance yes here comes the problem the limitation here it's not the cpu it's the gpu 92 percent look at the freaking awesome performance from this yes so i thought in lower resolution i would have wanted to uh, blame the computer the, the cpu no i have to blame the gpu i have no vram so theoretically in the future i have to change as soon as possible because the cpu can actually do the job very nice performance from this overall look at it 43 watts on the cpu it's, it's not uh, it's not that uh, it's not that bad you know uh, it's got uh, it's got uh, awesome performance, the GPU core, you know, like 60%, but the VRAM is not that right. It's not okay. Yeah. I can't believe it. the moment has come for me to change the GPU in this computer because apparently this uh, CPU managed to show me that um, we need a proper GPU in order to show the, the full potential on a CPU. So there was a couple of occasions where the, the GPU was uh, lagging was uh, bottlenecking the whole system i'm really impressed by this old cpu 2011 cpu you know because it's got everything that i want from a comp from a cpu you know if i want to build an older computer so a budget build a budget build in my case uh, will be with something like this with uh, four cores uh, second gen um, cpus and uh, yeah i'm i'm learning to love this platform and at the same time i'm how should i say i'm getting better on which gpu will be ideal for this computer this is what the cpu can do seriously there is no question uh, there is no question i love this uh, cpu and uh, hopefully i will put it to a good use in the near future in the future so yeah this is it